So that's a good example of a breakdown in communication, even though you both use the same definition to define that term. My name is Phil Menard. I'm the director of the Tom's Theory of Mind Gaming Group in Speech Language Pathology at Michigan Medicine. We have teenagers play games in order to practice perspective taking in an environment where we can use a concrete example of a way to explore abstract concepts. Theory of mind permeates all the interactions that we have. It's the ability to kind of presume what are your experiences and what do you know? And so how do I tailor the message that I want to give to account for that? be on the right side of the triangle because the triangle is pointing to your left hand side. As a director of the program, what I'm looking for happening in every session is a good balance between the kids having fun, but yet being challenged in a way that they can be reflective on their own understanding of the situation as well as help each other. When we're talking about the precision of language, how does it need to be precise? Like when we play this game, it's in a very specific way. The most exciting thing about watching a child grow in the program is seeing that leap from what we would easily classify as like immaturity in their understanding of their responsibilities and them really starting to take on responsibility and start to contribute either to their family or to society as a whole. I wasn't expecting that jokes were going to be number one. I agree, that surprises me too. Yeah. The main thing that we want the kids to walk out of here with is a better sensitivity to the world that they're in and how they fit into that. And it's not about negotiation. It's about having the other person get the impression that you understand it from their perspective. Got it. Got it? Okay, good. <laughs>